everyone and welcome back to Dicebreaker, where today I've just found out that Johnny has never played Summoner Wars. Nope. What the hell, Johnny? <laughs> I just, I never have. Like, you know when you're in a brick and mortar board game shop, mm. as you can be. Um, Not recently, mind, but yes. <laughs> um, and you pick something up and you're like, oh, this looks interesting. And you're like, oh, that looks, uh, that looks both complicated and adversarial. So you kind of. <laughs> I've basically I've like I've spent quite a lot of time before trying to work out a game with somebody else where we've just been like Ugh, for ages that I think Summoner Wars it just felt like one of those so I never really decided to give it a go. Well, I'm pleased to tell you, Johnny, that actually mm. it's very simple. Um, however, the complex depth of the blah 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 strategy that's all very good. So <laughs> Summoner okay. Wars is uh, is one of my favourite card games. Um, and it's one that I don't see sort of like I don't see a lot of the mechanics that Summoner Wars has, has used sort of replicated in other things, especially in digital stuff, which I think is is a shame because mm. um, Summoner Wars plays like uh, you know like a, a training con game, or whatever you like. You know, you get decks and you can deck build, and there's special characters and abilities and all that kind of stuff. However. Yeah. Every character that exists in the deck also exists on a physical map. So you can see in the middle here, we've got a grid-based map here. Um, so it combines like Magic the Gathering-style trading card gameplay with squad-based tactics, which is really, really fun and really, really cool. Um, yeah. And it's like two things that I really like sort of combined into one go. Yeah. Uh, we've got two out of uh, a total... Oh my god, <laughs> a lot. Hold on, that's 8, that's 16, 24. which makes that 24. Uh, and each of those 24 bags has a number of decks inside them. So there is a buttload of different like characters yeah. and factions that you can play as. There's like decks where you can have two factions that have merged together. And then on top of that, there's there's like deck building and stuff like that as well. Um, the reason I've picked Summoner Wars to, to do today recently is because it's actually getting relaunched. They're doing like a new edition by Plaid Hat, so this is like a look at yes. yeah, this is like a look at what the game uh, currently exists as, but look forward to like new stuff coming from it. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to be playing as uh, Sunderved, a summoner of the Mountain Varg, sounds Vargath. Like a, sounds like a, a, a vitamin supplement. <laughs> <laughs> he's so look. He's so hench that oh, he's wow, actually yeah. covering up the title of his. <laughs> oh yeah, his God. <laughs> well, I will be playing as Muglug, who is summoner of the Swamp Orcs. <laughs> and he's got a big stick, which he is really always, has always a good thing, right? So, I mean, this is Summoner Wars, which means that the summoners are probably pretty, uh, pretty important because not mm-hmm. only are they going to be summoning the units, but also the goal of the game is to kill the other person's summoner. Um, The way that we do that is through fighting and moving and special abilities and spells and stuff like that. But the basics are of every card as follows. So we'll we'll take my little Sundavid guy here as as an example. You've got like a little block here, which are all your stats. So this big number here in a circle, that's how many dice that you get to roll when you make an attack. Um, And an attack, I believe, is a success on a three-up. Okay. Um, underneath that, you've got, although this is a bad example because he's a summoner, but underneath that, you've got, if you move over to the warrior card, <laughs> you've got a number, which tells you the cost it, it takes to summon them. Um, and you've got either a sword or a bow, which means that they're either melee, which means they have to hit people adjacent to them, or they have a bow, which means they can shoot up to three spaces away. Mm-hmm. And then finally, you've got these little pips, which represent yeah. how much health they have. So uh-huh. this guy can take two hits, uh, upon which he dies. Um, So, for example, my summoner over here has seven health. So if you can hit him seven times, you win. Uh, Okay, now... Yours has... Oh, seven as well. Yeah. Nice and and even. Is that seven individual successful attacks, or is that seven individual die successes? That's seven individual die successes. Okay, cool. So, for example, Sundaveg can do up to three damage. Right, because he rolls three dice. Of course, he rolls three dice. Okay, yes, with you. Um, So we have uh, a pre-built deck full of all sorts of goodies. Um, Mm -hmm. And one of the really cool things about Summoner Wars is that literally everything, apart from like, you know, dice and health and stuff, is in this deck. So not only contains all of your units and walls, which we use as sort of summon points, 
um, and all of your uh, special ability cards and stuff like that. But also it acts as a currency as well because the cost that we have for summoning units is how many cards we discard from our little pile here, which is called magic. There so every is. time you discard a card or every time you kill an enemy card, you get to place it in your magic pile and it becomes currency for you to spend. Uh -huh. Which also means that technically, and I don't know if it's good for either of these factions, but there is like a way in which you can play where you kill your own units so that you can get more magic to spend on better units and stuff like right. that. It's, it's yes. that kind of game where it's like everything is very inter interlocked and intertwined, which makes it really mm -hmm. interesting. Um, so we're going to go through a couple of uh, rounds, and I've got the little rulebook PDF here as well. Uh, so if we scroll up, you can see the turn sequence here, um, which also <laughs> actually I think should be on your little card. Uh, which okay, cool. Because well. yes, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, because currently uh, the rule book is asking me to accept Google cookies. <laughs> <laughs> there we it's go. Good, it's that. a good thing that it's on the card then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if we if we look at the little card here as well, not only does it give you like a list of um, how many of each event cards you have. Um, mm -hmm. You also get uh, a card that tells you how to set up when you first do your fight, which is good because you know it's uh, it's sort of like provided the the preset for us, which is handy when you're learning the game because you don't have to think, yeah. oh god, where do I put all these? But also it gives you the phase summary as well. So a standard round goes like this: you draw up to five cards, mm -hmm. then you can spend man magic to summon new cards, then mm -hmm. you can play event cards, then up to three of your units move, up to three of your units attack. And then the final phase is you can discard cards from your hand to get magic. So okay. it's get cards, play cards, use the cards that are already on the board, and then get rid of cards that you don't want. Yeah. Simples, right? Cool. <laughs> I'm excited about this. Um, like, I, I really like the way that there's a physical map element. It, yes. it feels quite Frostgrave-y. Um, yeah, yeah. As in, it feels quite a lot like Frostgrave. There isn't anything called frost gravy, although I'm sure it'd be delicious. <laughs> but um, I mean, you know, you know what other game is a is a uh, deck building game where you've got characters who actually occupy space on a physical board and can move. What's that, Johnny? It's Doomtown Reloaded. <laughs> um, well, so then. this this as far as you've you've got my attention already. Basically, <laughs> is what I'm saying. You were uh, you had my attention. But now, no, no God, no, it's the other way around, isn't it? Oh, damn it. Oh, never mind. I, I, I thought tried. it was, you, ha you had my attention, now you have my interest. Or is it, I don't know. You have my interest, now you have my attention. I don't know, something. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, um, first things first, we just roll a die each, and whoever gets the highest result takes the first turn. Or chooses okay. who takes the first turn, I believe. I've rolled a two and a four. Okay, so I've got the choice. Um... So, well, I mean, seeing as I'm teaching it, I'll take the first turn. How about that? Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, so for the first turn, you just ignore the first three phases, and then after that, everything's normal. So we start with no cards in our hand. Um, mm -hmm. Not that they would be in my physical hands anyway. I don't know why I'm holding them up, because we're playing on tabletop <laughs> Um But essentially, you, you draw cards at the start of each round, so you've only okay. got the stuff in your hand that uh, you don't get to sort of pre-plan quite as much. Um, but because I'm skipping the first three cards, that basically means that I can only use the cards that are already on the board. So I start okay. with movement. So I choose up to three of my units. That includes my summoner himself, but obviously I can't move the walls around. Yeah. Um, and I can move up to two spaces with them. So these also have their own little special powers as well. I've deliberately chosen a faction that I've never played before to try and help out Johnny as with his first battle. Um, so... You've got some range units over there, so I'm going to move my yes. warrior two spaces forward. And you can only shoot in straight lines, so at least that gives uh -huh. me some time. Um, then I'm going to move my rusher forward. And when moving with this rusher during your movement phase, if this rusher begins its movement on your side of the battlefield, you may move up to two additional spaces. Whoa, Whoa now hold on. <laughs> now that's interesting. Okay. One, two, three then. Okay, yeah, I was going to say that's actually, that's not a bad move for you because you were about to move next to my Savager who has a chance of just insta-killing whatever moves next to, next to them. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. yeah, each time a common enemy unit moves adjacent to the Savager, roll a die on a result of five or higher, discard the move card. Oh my god, okay. Ah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Savager's extremely expensive to, to play, but mm. also 
absolute wrecking houses. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, it's each time a comedy and a move next to the savager. So I'm going to let you move to me by moving this guy here. How yeah. Okay. So that's up to three movements done. Um, mm -hmm. And now I get to do an attack. So I can only attack with the rusher right now because he's the only one in range because everyone's melee on my side of the, of the pitch. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to attack with the rusher. So this big number tells me how many die I'm, dice I'm going to roll. So I roll one die. Uh, and I'm looking for a three or higher, I believe, to succeed. Um, okay. So here we go. That's a two. <laughs> okay. If I had succeeded, that would have done one damage, which would put you on half health, but it didn't. So okay. that's fine. Um, and then I have the option to build magic, but I don't have any cards to discard. So I hand over to you. Okay, cool. So I'm not drawing any cards this turn. So, well, no, so I skip the first three, but now we're back into normal play. So, oh, okay. So you draw up to five cards. Okay. Two, three, four, five. Oh, no. Cards and TTS. Damn you, TTS! Hover over them and You're press not... the number you want, and then it will draw them into your hand for you. Oh, there we yeah, go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <sighs> Honestly. Well, that's a stupid name, but you look fun. I mean, I'm not seeing you getting played, though. Okay, so I've drawn cards. Mm -hmm. I don't have any in my magic pool, so I can't summon. Yeah, unless you've got any that cost zero, which is obviously an option. Ah, uh, I assume walls are not free. Uh, walls are free. Walls you can place anywhere on your side of the board, and whenever you spawn a new unit, you have to spawn them next to a wall. Okay. You can see you can see how much health they have at the bottom as well. So they've got nine pips, I think. So they take nine damage. Oh, okay. But uh, one a... one viable thing is that you could destroy your opponents all of their walls, which means that they can't summon right. any new units. Oh, that's very clever. Yeah, which is quite I'm cool. going to play a wall here. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, you can literally just sort of wall your own summoner in as well, if, <laughs> yeah. if that's what you want to well, do. Part of it for me is if you look at Muglug's uh, ability, Rampant Growth, whenever a unit adjacent to a wall you control is destroyed, place a vine wall on the space that you're not <gasps> occupied. Oh. So I can... Uh, effectively, I want to turn your rusher and your uh, warrior into tasty, tasty... Um, Walls. <laughs> tasty, tasty Why is that walls. so hard to say? <laughs> okay. Honestly. All right. Um, so, okay. So, I don't want to play either of these event cards. So, not that I'm saying I have two event cards. <laughs> oh, walls count as an event card, by the way. Just so for the, the timing. So, you can't oh. place a wall and then summon is the only oh, thing. Oh, you summon and then do a, a wall as an event card. Yes, yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, well, I've placed a wall. So, uh, <laughs> now it's time for movement. Um, now, with archers, can mm -hmm. they... I mean, I want to move this guy away anyway. Mm -hmm. But can they only attack from more than one space away? Or no, they can just space? attack up to three spaces away. Okay. So. Um, they can attack from there, it's just obviously you can attack whilst here, whereas yeah, I can't. Yeah, so I'm going to move this guy here, this guy one, two spaces to here. Yeah, that makes sense. And then I think I probably do want to go in and smash this guy up, because that Savager is He is so pretty powerful. massive, isn't he? Uh, yeah, so that's all, that's, I've moved three of my, um, my cards, my, my, what's the... What's the capsule term for a, a like a character? Oh, like a unit, I think. Unit. Okay, there we go. There's common awesome. units, uh, common units. Sorry, and then your summoner. All right. So uh, let's attack the rusher first with this hunter. So one die. Mm -hmm. And is it one die? Yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, one die. And you're looking for three or higher. Okay. That's a two. <laughs> We're really good at this. <laughs> uh, the shaman is going to give it a go. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, when an opponent rolls to attack the shaman, not applicable right now. Okay, here we go. Five. Okay, so you've done one damage to me, so I just have a token on there. Oh, okay. Uh, where are these damage? Where are the damage tokens? Which ones the damage tokens? The red, red is ones. damage, green is poison, which we're not using, and we're not so, using those either. So just, just, just the red ones. Needs to be one on that hunter. Uh, okay. Does that? And I, then... di I didn't hit him, remember? I rolled oh, two. you didn't? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Silly me. We both rolled two then... at the start. <laughs> Let's try with the Savager. Okay, this, this, is, this is where things get a little bit dicey for me. 
Oh, oh it's only one hit. No, no, that's a three and a four. That's me gone. Oh, three ups. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so because you've killed the warrior, you mm -hmm. get to put him on your magic pile. Ooh. Which will be currency for you to summon things in the future. Delicious. So I think magic is face down and then discard is oh, face sorry. up. No, that's okay. Good. It's just so you can at a glance see which one's which. Ah, uh, okay. Um all right, so that's that done. That's and then attacks, build yeah. magic. So yeah. I can just You can discard as many to... cards as you want to your magic pile to use okay. as currency in the next round. What happens when you run out of your deck? Do you shuffle your discard pile into a new deck? Or no, your deck is finite. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the the key sort of like how much of this do I burn through? Yeah. Are there penalties for running out of deck? Uh, just the fact that you can no longer use any more cards. So if you run out of units, then you've run out of units. Okay. Um, so if I use a card to build magic, I'm explicitly saying I'm not going to be using this this game. Exactly. Yeah. But obviously, okay. there's a, there's only three type of unit, and you have like a, a set amount of each. I think they there's they're in there an equal number, I believe. Um, but an, another important thing for burning through your deck is that you have three heroes, which are expensive, unique units that have their own special powers. So mm -hmm. once they pop up, that's where things start getting a little bit spicy. Indeed. I mean, I don't mind telling you, this is my first game of this, I have a champion of the Swamp Hawks in my hand. He's very expensive, and so I'm like, mm. my current inclination is just to, to get rid for a bit of magic, but I think probably that's not wise mm. oh that's cool I've got a unit called the brute uh, if I attack someone but don't destroy them I can fling them back up to three spaces oh that's so very like a mega punch <laughs> um, mm, 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 mm. yeah I, I guess I'm not going to build magic it feels like maybe discarding that champion is a bad idea so that's going to be my guy. Okay. So I draw five cards. And let's see what I've got here. Oh, wow. Oh, that's interesting. Um, right. I haven't got any magic, so I can't summon. Ooh. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Right, okay, cool. Um, I'm going to play Muster, which is one of the special abilities. Place up to two common units that you control adjacent to your summoner. So I'm going to grab my Brute, and I'm going to go... Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, very clever. Although, it's a bit of a gamble, because if I roll, <laughs> if I roll five... If you roll a five or higher, then he's gone. But we'll have to see what happens. Mm -hmm. um, I, I admire it, though. I don't like it, but I respect it. <laughs> Uh, okay, then, um, yeah, no, that is, that's all the cards I'm going to play. Um, now I've got movement, so I am going to push my rusher forward again, try and mm -hmm. lock you in, um, and then I'm actually... I'm going to keep my warrior where he is. So I'm going to move my summoner here. Um, yes. Okay, cool. Right. So, here we go. First things first. Uh, oh, I didn't actually move my brute, did I? Sorry, wait. Okay, moving him, moving him, and then mm -hmm. moving him as well. This is the point yeah. where you roll a die. Okay. So please okay. don't roll a five or higher. <laughs> All right. I make no promises. That, thank you one? very much. That was You're very welcome. good of you, Johnny. Yeah, well, <laughs> I figured I'd go easy on you. That was good sportsmanship. <laughs> okay, now I get to do attacks. Um, and we're going to start with the Brute. Mm -hmm. um, and he is within two spaces of my summoner, which means that he gets to add one to his attack value during this turn. Well, so he rolls well, two well. dice instead. So you're looking for... Okay, right. So I am looking for two threes or higher. Mm-hmm. That'll do ya. So that is two Ow. out of three damage. Okay. And here's a fun thing, Johnny. Because he mm -hmm. wasn't destroyed but was damaged, I get to you move you onto three clear line spaces. Yeah. One, two, three. Hello, it's second attack time. Oh, very <laughs> clever. That's great. Love that. Um, when attacking a common unit with this warrior, if this warrior is on your opponent's side of the battlefield, which it is, I get to add one to this warrior's attack value. 
Uh, so Ooh. once again, got two chances at three or higher. Oh, done it. there it is. And it's I get to it. kill the savage. All right. Mm -hmm. That was very neat. I came into the start of this turn thinking like, hey, look at me. I'm in a, I'm in a commanding position, blah, 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 blah. That was lovely. Uh, that's that was... that's what I love about Summon Wars, the little yeah. like puzzle of moving things around and mm -hmm. just interacting in a physical space with your cards. Uh, it's, yeah, it's like a chess chess element to it yeah, as exactly. much as it is anything else. And and then I've got my rusher here as well, so I might as well attack with him. So he's just one mm -hmm. die, look for a three or higher, and gets on disgusting. One damage to the hunter. Absolutely disgusting <laughs> behaviour. <laughs> Okay, Honestly. now I can build magic. Um, I am going to discard. Ooh. Ooh. I've only got one. Of them. Oh, they're not too expensive. No, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to discard this guy to my magic pile. And this guy as well. Okay, and that's my turn. Over okay. to you. All right, then. So, I'm going to draw up to five. You're going to need some I... epic battle music at the start of this video. <laughs> yeah. Okay, draw, summon. So, vine walls, mm -hmm. can, I, can I summon them myself? Or I think they only I... appear from card effects. Woof. Because... Yeah, there's a there's a lot in this deck to do with vine walls. It's one of those ones where it's maybe a bit slow to get going. Yeah, but once I, it's going, then vine it's... walls are horrible because like yeah, they just spread across the board and suddenly you just can't move for them. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna move Ooh. my summoner up here. So I don't want to play any event cards. Yeah, that seems fine. Why not? It's just to give me insurance if the hunter doesn't hit, to be mm -hmm. honest. Um, pardon me. All right, so um, go straight into attacking. You know what? Well, actually, why why should we give that hunter all the glory? Muglug <laughs> is going to try and smash the rusher in the face. <laughs> Listen, it didn't work for Germany. <laughs> That is. Three oh, hits. that's three hits. Absolutely melted. Oh my goodness. Rush has so, got two health, so he's gone. I'll have that. And then the shaman is going to have another crack at your warrior over here. That's and he's gone four. as well. Lot of lot of death blows going on. The board has been Oof. cleared. Okay. Movement attack. Build magic. It goes quite quickly when you um. Mm -hmm. That's fun. <laughs> I love that you go. It goes quite quickly, and then you just immediately go into Sorry. silence. <laughs> I then have to read a card. But it goes. The turns go quite quickly once you sort of get into it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there'll be there'll be some like quick um, pauses whilst we read cards we're not familiar yeah. with. But apart from that, it's all pretty straightforward. Okay. Oh, whoops. I uh, was planning to summon, but uh, I didn't. Oh, well. Uh, I've built some magic. Okay. So it's your turn. Let's see what i got then. Um... Ooh, that's cool. Okay. Uh, right. So... I don't know if he's all that worth it, to be honest. I am... Um, I'm going to summon mm -hmm. a new warrior. He's going to go here. That costs okay. me one magic. Uh, and then I'm going to play Superior Planning, which is an event. Which is, okay. I get to search my draw or discard pile for a standard event card, reveal the card, and then place the card in your hand and shuffle your draw pile. Um, so I am going to search my discard pile for the muster card um, and pop it into my hand. Very good. Uh, because I am going to then... 
after shuffling that. Immediately play it. Let's put that warrior here. And then I'm going to start my movement phase, and he's going to go 1 2 to hit. The brute okay. is just going to move modern forward, and Sundered is, or Sundered is going to move up as well. I'm going oh, aggressive. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so there's no normal attacks that are going on, but you can hit walls. So I'm just going to yeah. have both my brute and my warrior smash against your walls. Leave me walls alone. Uh, and neither of these two are hitting units, so I'm just going to go one for each. Oh, that's two damage to the wall. Mm -hmm. Now I can All build right. magic, and I'm going to do that. And do you know what? I'm going to do that as well. Okay. And over to you. All right, then. Let's draw up to five. Um, all right, and then salmon, or oh, summon, excuse me. Salmon. <laughs> the summon cost is the small number next to their. It's bio, the one with the right? little fish icon next to it, yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the little little banner number. Okay. Uh, I'm going to summon a hunter here. Ah, oh, I've been flanked. Um. Hmm. I feel a bit hemmed in. Hmm. Well, you've got your movement phase now. Oh, hang on a minute. Where were your um, units that I destroyed? Did I destroy one here? You did destroy one here, so that should be a vine wall. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we here go. Here it comes. Summoned, and then... How many spaces can you fire with a bow? Oh, never mind. Um, now that you know that that vine wall is there, do you want to move your hunter? I, oh, what? Where From you, where where you spawned him? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, no, it doesn't doesn't matter because I had to summon first. Oh, wait, but that would but that would have happened yes. last turn. Yeah, yeah I want to fine. do that. Sorry. Yes. Um. Yes, please. Thank you. That's very kind. Yeah. yeah but, so... Okay. So if I'd spawned here or here. Then I couldn't go onto the vine wall, off it, and then no, no. Be able but to because attack. you can spawn next to a vine wall, you could spawn right. here oh. and move one, two, shoot. Is what I meant. So. Of course, of course, yeah. of course. Sorry, yeah. Okay, uh, but I do need to roll to get off this vine wall, right? Uh, yeah, that's true. I'll still do it. But yeah, bing bong, I moved on, then off. And I've rolled, and is that a wound? I hit a roll of three. Uh, no, I'm afraid you need to roll a four or higher to not take damage when you move for vine wall. And if you take oh. damage, you stop your movement, Johnny. So because <laughs> I'm caught on the vine wall. Yeah. Okay. Well, well it was a good gamble, <laughs> which I feel like I've, to the party, I've led you into now. <laughs> I mean, in a very real way, yes. <laughs> but that's fine. Um, so okay, so the hunters moved, not very <laughs> successfully, but. They've certainly moved. Uh, I guess I'll just bring this hunter in, mm -hmm. the bear. And then, I mean, okay, you can't shoot through friendlies. Yeah, so it would stop the hunter shooting if you moved in. Okay. So I, mm, I'm going to walk this back a, a, a step. Because mm -hmm. if I move my glug, I've got a much better chance of killing that warrior. However... That obviously puts me in direct line of sight with Sudafed over here. Yeah. <laughs> um, and with his buff, that is really potent. Okay, that that's decided it. Right, so Hunter's going this way, Muglug's going that way. Because I don't I don't need you adding one to the unit's attack values <laughs> over here. Like I can do without that mess. I mean the hunter, sure, he's he's toast, but whatevs. Um Okay, so movement, then attack. So just one die, so I'm not gonna kill this rusher, but I'm not even gonna wound him actually. Oh. It's gonna wave at him from my swamp. Shramp. <sighs> Shramp indeed.
Okay. Oh, that would have been really useful. <laughs> oh, you sound so abject. <laughs> uh, no, it's fine. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I really, I really screwed the pooch on that guy. Um, <laughs> the build some magic. And okay. All right. So I'm going to draw four cards. Oh. Really mincing through your deck. Yeah, I am. Ooh, what's this? Um, oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Really I, don't cool. like the, I don't like the sound of, oh, wow. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's necessarily going to come into it just yet, but it's, it's a cool okay. thing. Um, mm. Okay. Okay. I I'm not going to spawn anything. Um I'm going to play Sure, why not? I'm going to play Greater Command. Okay. Um, which basically means that my within two spaces becomes within four spaces for Sudafed. Uh <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Although I don't know if I can reach your, your summoner yet, so I think you're all right for now. I don't think so. For now. For now. Um, for you. Movement. I'm going to go one, two, one, two, one, two. Um, which basically means that that card is now useless because it's... <laughs> It's only until the end of the turn. Uh, so, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's fine. Um, but, yeah, okay. Let's let's try and kill your hunter. Yeah. So, three dice idea. from Sudafed. Oh, only just. Only one uh, hit. That's what it takes. Go on. Take my card. There is a, I'd, there's a rich get richer element to this, isn't there? Mm. Where... You, you know, the more you have on the board, the easier it is to kill others, and therefore the more magic you build, so you can bring more in, and yeah. you sort of really get an engine going. Yeah, exactly. Um, which again is quite similar to uh, to Doomtown. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna um, roll these two to hit your wall again. Okay, uh, but only one's gonna hit. And build magic. I'm gonna. Mm, yeah. <laughs> uh, and you know what? I'm going to put that down as well. There we go. Seven magic, baby. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Over to you, my friend. Yep, 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 yep. Hang on a minute. I completely missed a trick there. I mean, it doesn't matter now, but Vine Mancer Ambush is just something that's on a hunter. If the hunter moves on or off, they get plus one to their attack value and they don't have to roll to move off a Vine Wall. Well, take a shot against my Brute then. Mm. Well, they're going to be there. Yeah. Okay, Cause it, sure. Yeah, absolutely, take a shot. That's very so kind. You get to, um... I rolled a one to say thank you. <laughs> yeah, but you actually get to add one to his attack value, so I'll oh, never okay. die as well. That one was a six, actually. <laughs> Phew! <laughs> um, I'm assuming you can't shoot through walls because they're walls. Yes, they are. It's a clever I, game. I know, right? You have to admit, Wheels. It's a clever game. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh. Okay, one, two, three. Oops. Have I somehow drawn up to six? Yes. How That's did fine. I do that? I don't know. It's probably all right, though. Well, let's... Let's just put that guy back. Okay. What can I summon? Well, that's quite handy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Come on over, why not? Oh, that's, hello. It's just another shaman. But uh, if they're adjacent to a vine wall... Only five ups can hurt, which is very pleasant. Really? Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, you need to start getting some vines down, my friend. I do. Well, unfortunately, that means things need to die. <laughs> so, uh, Which is not currently how it's working. No, God, no. <laughs> um, okay. Although both of my units are adjacent to a wall right now. So if you can get some okay. damage down, that's more vine walls for the vine wall, Lord. That's the plan. Vines for the vine lord, thorns for the thorn god. <laughs> <laughs> I really need... I mean, I could. And that would be funny. I am enjoying watching you sort of like flick around all your cards and think about how to use your actions, because that definitely means the game has got its hooks into you. Oh yeah, big time. <laughs> it's great fun. Okay, but then I couldn't. <laughs> that's a better shout. That's tactically that's much better. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna play in snare. Mm -hmm. Um, which is choose up to two common units, one at a time, place each of the chosen units onto an unoccupied vine wall that's within four spaces of that unit. So I'm going to take this guy here and go one, two, three, four. Wow. Pop him on a vine wall. Um, I need to. Oops. I need to keep him the same. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, I'm going to make a deck out of him. Oh well, that's that's just something. <laughs> <laughs> He's facing the wrong way. Ignore that. <laughs> Another thing I really like about this is that you can immediately tell whose card is which, literally just by what direction it's facing. Yeah, it's very useful. Okay, so then. Okay, I've got I've got that I've got attacks there covered, basically. But then going one. in there would be quite handy. I'd be daft not to, he says. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so movement. I'm gonna go one, two. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go and leave this guy. Go one, two, Ooh. and I'm gonna go one, two. Ooh. It is go big or go home. That is, a, yeah, it's an aggressive maneuver. Let's see how it All goes. Right. Although you so, can remember, you can only attack with three, so one of those people is gonna have to not do anything. Oh yeah, whoops. One, two. Oh, that's fine. Hmm. <laughs> now he's thinking about it. <laughs> I'm still okay with this. That's fine. So, let's see. Uh, I mean, okay. Let's start over over here. The shaman's gonna have a little tickle. It's a six. So that's one wound. And then, sure, we'll make it this hunter. And uh, also have a little tickle. That's oh, a that's three as well, which means the brute's down to two. Oh, why are you putting it on him? <laughs> Did he shoot himself? <laughs> oh, whoops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with it. <laughs> oh, it means the brute's down to one. Oh, no, this is a conundrum. Because do I hope for a good roll with the shaman mm. that would let me stick up another vine wall here, which would be excellent? Or, while I've got the chance, do I attack you? I'm just going to attack your summoner. This is the big one. Oh, that's oh. three hits! <laughs> oh, very pleased with that. My goodness. Oh, look at you turning the number. <laughs> oh, they just flip. Yeah. That's what they do. Okay. All right. Okay. What's he doing? He's starting to get it. That's almost half my health gone. Ouch. Oh, that was a great move. Love that. The uh, flipping me oh, over to you. a vine wall to... Take take away my defense was very very good. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna build magic, uh, and then it's your turn. Okay. Right. So I'm gonna draw three cards. This feels quick. It it feels like games never really drag, which is very nice. Sometimes, and I know I keep um, sort of comparing it to. Doomtown, but that's only because it's the game I've played the most of, and it's it's got a physical element like this. Doomtown, it takes a while to get going most of the time. 
you know, some games can be hours long. All games can be 10 minutes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> No, whatever it is, I don't like it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. God, he's hench. All right. Okay. So, do I play that right now? I think I do. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Right. Cool. I'm gonna play Great Command again. So he has a range of four on his ability. Uh oh. Uh, oh, sorry, I'll do that second. Uh, because first, I'm oh, no. going to summon uh, oh, no. Torodin, oh, champion no. of the mountain Vargath. What on earth? <laughs> it looks like a toad centaur. <laughs> Shout out to the toad centaur. This guy can oh, move wow. through common units and everyone he does takes a damage. That's great. That's very, very good. Okay. Um, then I'll play Great yeah. Command. Uh-huh. Uh, and now let's do the movement phase. Oh, this is going to be bad. Okie dokie. It's going to be very bad. Um, For me. <sighs> movement. One. All I wanted was to turn you into a Two. mine wall. Which damages you. Yeah. Uh... That's it. Okay. Now attacks. Um, let's start with a bit of revenge. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah, very good. Very strong. Huge. Um, and then... Uh, this guy is going to attack your commander with two dice with because two he has dice. great commands. Correct. Toto's screaming outside because he's anticipating this it's big move. Hyped, uh, for the brute. With oh, good just reason. One hit, just one hit. Hey, look, Toto, Toto's happy. You should be happy too. <laughs> uh, and Toradin is not a common unit, so he won't benefit from the, the spell. Okay, um, but it's still doing two anyway. It's still going to do two damage, so I'm going to attack your hunter. Mm -hmm. Just needs one success. That'll do it. Yeah. That'll do it. Um, so when it says a hunter, uh, oh, whenever a unit adjacent to a wall you control is destroyed, I'm assuming that's only orthogonally, not diagonally as well. Uh, sorry, I'm just spending my magic. Oh, sorry. So I should be on two now. Yeah, cool. Sorry. Uh, yes, orthogonally. Adjacent is only up, down, left, or right. No vine wall for me. Okay, that is all three of my attacks. Um, building. I'm. Yeah, I'm going to spend both of these. It's not looking good for old Muglug. 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 Over to you, my friend. Okay, okay. So, one. Two, three. Oh, great. Okay, how much do I have to spend? Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to summon a savage. Oh, there. hello. Hello, buddy. Look who's back. Honk, honk. Okay. This is bad. A lot of this is very bad. But oh well. I've summoned. Event cards. No thank you. Movement. This is going to be an important movement round, isn't it? Because do, yeah. do you stick it out is the question. Yeah. One, two. Wow. One. Ooh. One, two. <gasps> oh, he's going for the jugular. I kind of have to. I yeah. Think. All right. Okay, he doesn't get the benefit because it's not a vine wall, it's just a wall. Okay. It's been a. 
it's <laughs> been a no holds barred. Get your really summoners has. out. All right, Mugglehug's gonna go first. Two hits. <laughs> not terrible. Which means I'm not dead, as far yes. as I'm aware. So that's good. That's right. good for me. Okay, then the shaman is just doing. Oops. One. That's a hit. Oh. oh, you know, you know what? If I'd summoned here. Yeah. Have gone in back. Yeah, no, I'm glad that didn't happen. Oh, what an oversight. <laughs> yeah, that would have been game over. What a tragedy. Okay, uh, the shaman's going to have a pop at the brute. Mm -hmm. Why not? Oh. Brute's dead. That's a three, yeah. Enjoy your magic. Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> that, that very easily could have been game over for me. That was... Yeah. I played a risky game here, and I'm starting to feel the effects of it. Oh man! Oh, oh! That's a hook going right in there. If I'd only seen that, that from a savage, <laughs> I'd only seen that. Okay. Then I could have been game over. My turn. <sighs> yes, it's your turn. Oh wait, hang on a minute. I've got to build some magic. Well, I don't have to, but I will. Right. You can get binned. Oh. You can get binned. And you can get burned. Okie dokie. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. I'm going to spend two magic to summon a brute here. And a Russia here. Um, ah, there it is. Uh, hold on now. Hold on now, my Okay. Friend. Oh, that's that Savager summon placement. Oof. Okay. If I lose this wheels, that's gonna keep me up at night. <laughs> This That's this is easy. this is a really That's... important turn for me. Let's just, let's just say that that was that's at least forty five minutes of good REM cycle gone. <laughs> this card was a very important draw. Toradrin's no. advance. No, when moving Toradrin during this movement yeah. phase, you get to move up to two additional spaces, which means I'm going to do the movement phase now. I'm going to go uh -huh. one two, one two. One, two, three. He's dead. There we go. Ah, oh, very clever. Uh, and for now, <laughs> Sundaved is protected. Okay. Which is very important. That is good. Uh, but you need to roll a five for Russia. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. That was movement. Um... Attacks, I mean, obviously, Toradrin's going to have a pop. Mm -hmm. So, two dice for him. Not a common unit, though, so it doesn't get the, the bonus. That's two, two hits, hit. though. Love now to we're see we're both it. on one hit remaining. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the Rusher is going to attack. He gets two dice because he's next to Sandoved against your Savager. Yep. That's two yeah. hits. And then the brute with the final smack. That's a hit. Oh. Also, oh, the savage is savage is gone. Yeah. That was that was a big turn. That was a big turn. That's huge. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna build magic, and it's over to you. Okay. So my one... deck is absolutely slim line at the moment. I've got nine Three. cards in it. I don't want to use either of those. I'm going to spend four. <gasps> I wonder what's going. Right here. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> 
movement. One, oh, two. No. Sure, why not? One, two. Oh, uh, I don't no. want to move the Savager. Uh, the Savage is going to attack. Please miss all three. You don't ask, you don't get, Johnny. <laughs> wow. That sucked. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't moved my shaman. <laughs> so I can't even attack your warrior. Well, that's just upsetting. Oh, that, that is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is fantastic. Oh, that's crushing, that is. Oh, wait, hang on <laughs> a minute. When um, something died here, didn't it? There ought uh, to be a did. wall there, a vine wall there. Um, this died. Oh, is it? Was it that when yeah. when this guy moves through something? Oh, it must oh, have been. Yeah, uh, he, he was, was there, so that would be a vine wall here. Okay, well, that's a vine wall now. Rosie is trying to claw into my door right now. Oh they, no! They just they just cannot be without me apparently. <laughs> oh man! Uh, I need to be hotter on the vine wall placement because. I mean, I don't mind telling you, it's probably game over. I've got an ensnare in my hand. Oh, does that only work on common units? I hope it does. Oh, yeah, in fairness. Oh, so, so, so it's not that big of a change. Uh, okay, um, am I building any magic? Yeah. Let's do that. Um... Okay, yeah, done. Absolutely oh, I should, brutal. There should be one more magic down because this was a two cost and one cost. Oof. All right. Well, That's two hours of sleep gone, isn't it? <laughs> oh, now I find a wall. Jeez. I okay. still think about my opening move in a Doomtown Reloaded tournament in 20. Must have been. 14? 13? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Spending a magic. 14 or 15. Doesn't matter. Oh, God damn it. Uh, oh, that's so upsetting. Oh, am I spending a magic? Oh, no, maybe that's not as useful as I thought it was. Uh, okay. Um... <sighs> a one... A one and a two. <laughs> At least that one wasn't in your control, you know? Yeah. That was the hands of fate that have uh, ruined your chances there. I just, I was like, I've, I've got four, I've got four, like, I've got four magic to spend. I can just plop down that savage air. The odds are in my favor on this one. Okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to summon. Um, I so I'm gonna go for. Okay, all right. Okay. So I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna place a wall here. Has to be on my side. Mm. Um, and then movement. Yeah. Uh, is gonna be one two, and one two to give him Ouch. damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Oh God, he's he's. Very close to death. Um, and then... Uh, one, two. Uh, and now attacks. So... Torridin is going to attack the Savager. Two dice. Mm -hmm. That's two hits. Oh, these Savagers are... Having a tough time. Wow, really feeding you here. Um, oh, but that's a vine wall. It is a vine wall. I didn't think about that. Okay, that's a vine wall. <laughs> when the vine hits your eyes, gives you a meaty surprise. That's a vine wall. Oh, no. um, and then I guess these two will just hit the wall. So might as well. Oh, sure. uh, it's not terribly exciting, but they might as well. Uh, and let's do more damage to that. So mm. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to build that magic. Uh, and that's my turn. 
Okay. God, this is tight. It really is. I've got a nice forward line built up, though. <laughs> uh, yes, I'll say you have. It, yeah, this has really gone back and forth, hasn't it? Mm. Okay. Draw, okay. Right, I'm spending one to place a shaman here. <laughs> just, I need this. Oh, God. <laughs> play... I just can't keep you out, can I? No. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to play uh, Ensnare. To move two common units oh, onto Vine Wars. Oh yeah. no. Oh no. Okay, then it's movement. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Oh god. But I'm gonna go I'm gonna go right over here in the corner. I'm gonna go. Can up he here. move through units? I oh, whoops, can. sorry. Uh, yeah, I mean yeah, I mean it. I saw that one coming. That one, that one's gonna hurt, I think. <laughs> Okay, that's all my movement. We've got to start with the shaman because I mean, yeah, could win the game. Hits. It's right. Okay. Oh, Johnny, this is a big die roll. Should we use the dice tower that is apparently on the side of the oh. table? <laughs> yes. Go on then. Give it a couple of hours before you drop it in. Oh, oh! Hey, please. And there it yes. is. There it is. Oh. I just couldn't keep him out. Oh. Like a creeping vine, he forced his way through my line. Oh, the relief is absolutely enormous. <laughs> and the dog's here. Hello. <laughs> yes, sweet girl. Yeah. Hi. Congratulating Good you job. on the fact that you'll be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> oh, thank you. I feel like I need a nap right now. But That's great. What a game, right? And also, that was uh, less than an hour. All of that yeah. tactical brilliance in less than an hour. I, I bloody love this game. And the fact they're making a brand new edition with new art um, and new factions and stuff sounds amazing. Can't wait. Yeah, big fan. Um, I'll have a link in the description of this video to the uh, Dicebreaker article all about that. So have a little look for that, which is very, very interesting. Um, this game is out of print, but it's coming back. So have a little look out for it. But I think you can still get like the master set, which has like a whole... Uh, load of, of decks that you can play with and a, and a proper board. And there's little starter sets in places as well. So keep an eye out for those. Thank you very much for watching. Johnny, hope you enjoyed your first ever game of Summoner Wars. I loved it. It was great. Uh, and there's, I mean, that was just two of the ridiculous amount of decks that we could have played with as well. One of my favorite ones um, is like a necromancer who can damage himself to spawn things from the discard pile. Uh, yes. The the cave goblins have a giant naked mole rat, uh, <laughs> which is like insanely powerful, but um, it will only exist on the board if it can eat a common unit every turn. Amazing, because it's I love like it. a, it's it's very skaven, which is great. Uh, yeah. and it's yeah, just loads of, of amazing things like that. So look out for a very very cool game coming soon. Hopefully, thank you very very much for watching this. You've never played here on Dicebreaker. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please do hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon so you get notified whenever we put a new video live. Um, and if you don't know, then we have a little website called dicebreaker.com where we post mm -hmm. all kinds of fantastic uh, reviews and articles and news, including the news that Summon the Wars is getting a second edition. So have a little look through that and have a little read. Links in the description below. Um, you can also find some merch at dicebreaker.myshopify.com. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one and have a lovely day. Goodbye.